Uh, so you join me backstage with Bombay Bicycle Club. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hi. So they've just come off of the gamers stage where they were doing a set. Um, but before we get to that, uh, for those who don't know, can you sum up what the band does and is in one sentence for me? You can do one each. Uh, it's tough. Fails at most things. <laughs> but <laughs> fails at most things. I think I don't think that's true. You did. You wrote to V. You opened V in 2006. You've done that's had two out al- two albums <laughs> since then. Uh, one album. I thought it was two. No, we've had two EPs. Ah, uh, okay. So you've just you've just released an album, July the sixth, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. How long did that take to record, etc.? Five years. No. Uh, uh, well, we did it in a few weeks, but um, it was like the process of it was over a number of years. Yeah. Because we've been a lot of the songs were sort of four or five years old because we started when we were at school and sort of carried on since then so so how long's that been how long's the band been together now uh, three three years I think three years no four and a half years <laughs> three to four and a half so just we're at Lovebox how does this compare to V and other festivals that you've played at it's kind of like V uh, in that it's yeah it's cool uh it's, it's weird coming here from sort of Glastonbury and Latitude where you're in the middle of the beautiful countryside and there's like a lake or a river and you're just hackney here. Yeah. yeah, but you guys are North London boys, right? So is this? have you been to Lovebox before? No, never been to Lovebox. I've been to Underage and Field Day, which are also in um, Victoria Park. Yeah. Um, it's, it's cool. It's a shame the weather isn't very nice. I know. It was lovely and sunny yesterday until the afternoon when it, it always pissed it down the rain. It always makes the look and feel better when it's sunny. That's true. So one question I have to ask. my I use a, I use a voice-to-text service that converts all of my voicemails into text, and it always changes my name from Vicky Chowney to Vicky Chowmain, which I think is hilarious. And while um, on the way over here, it converted your name into Pompeii Baseball club. Pompeii Baseball Club. Yeah, what do you think Pompeii of that? Pompeii is in, in Yeah. Have you ever had anyone misinterpret your name? name. Do you, is there a possibility for a bit of a name change? It's a bit late now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to change our name. People still call us Bombay Motorcycle Club, which really annoys me. Why, why, why are you guys called that? What's the story behind the name? Oh, well, there's a religious cult called Bombay Bicycle Club. They something about Jesus. There's also a painting called Bombay Bicycle Club, and there's also an Indian curry house called Bombay Bicycle Club. You guess which one we uh, used. I think I might go for the curry. Yeah. Maybe? Okay. Uh, I think you already knew. So, <laughs> so where are you off to now? Uh, we uh, <laughs> Pass. Secret Garden Party. Oh, cool. What are you, are you, where are you playing there? Yeah. And... And we'll stay around here tonight as well. Stay around here. So, are you guys travelling a lot at the moment, or are you ba- mainly based in the UK? Or are you covering, covering Europe and stuff? We're about to go to Berlin to film our video. Which For what? Really, le- which sounds really pretentious when you think about it. But I like Berlin. It's got great clubs in Berlin. Yeah, I'm really looking forward. I've been wanting to go for ages. Yeah. So, what the video for what? It's our new single. It's called Magnet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the guy, he works in Berlin, so they're, they're flying us out there. Awesome. So I'm getting, I'm getting a lot more time with you than I thought. Mo- m- mainly when I talk to bands, I get kind of ushered off after a couple of minutes. But we're just chilling. We've got some cider. Day if you want. Yeah. Oh, right. You got any other questions? Hmm. What do you, where, what? what you, so you can, you can ask me some questions if you want. Uh, who have you seen so far this weekend? So yesterday, May saw uh, the end of Vivi Brown, yeah. which was good, uh, and then went off to see Florence and the Machine, who was amazing, great outfit, uh, and then stayed around for NERD. Were they oh. playing? We saw them at Glastonbury. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, it's a bit he, at Glastonbury, he was like, <laughs> I've been told oh, 200,000 people are here to see me. <laughs> 
he seems to have the impression that it was that everyone said, had paid to see said, him. He said, I want to hear some English people scream. <laughs> As if that was uh, like giving him kicks or something because we were English. Yeah, I, um, I have to say, at the very end of their set, he, uh, he invited girls to get up to the stage. I've, I've never seen a scrum like that in any... No metal gig I've been to, any rock guys, rock legends, no, girls any RD. Do him. Yeah. Do you, do you love him? No, not, not really. So, OK, let's get back to talking about you guys, because, you know, who I've been to see at Lovebox isn't that exciting. Well, we love not talking about ourselves. We find it very strange to talk about ourselves. Really? Why do you find it strange? Is it because you've... Like if someone asked you to go up to, like, a podium and talk about, like, you know, I am, blah, 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 this yeah. feels a bit weird. Are you doing it a lot, though? Are you doing, like, interview after interview after interview? Yeah, we still haven't got any better at it. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're doing think quite well. interviews where you're filmed is a lot harder as well. Yeah. Because you can't... But this is you can't nice just to be sitting down and, dr- and drinking and talking instead of... So where there's, there's a light in your eyes and yeah. it's really intense. So. I can imagine. I uh, I don't know if I could do what you do. So is what's like the biggest crowd that you guys have played for? Um, well, when we were at Glastonbury, we played the Lake Stage. Yeah. And no, 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 no. The Lake Stage. The Park Stage. Oh, yeah. At Glastonbury. And I didn't really notice it at the time, but I took a picture on stage and I got it developed and. It looks like there are loads and loads of people there. I think the most was at Reading last year, though. Ah, Reading. Probably like eight or nine thousand. I went to school in Reading. I know Reading Festival well. What did you, what did you think of Reading? Uh, I really enjoy, I don't know, there's parts of it I really enjoy. Yeah. Because it's kind of fun just being, like, going crazy in the campsite and swinging from towers and... <laughs> I love her. the cage fight. <laughs> Seriously? Have you not seen the cage fight? It's an amazing form of escapism in the world, Reading Festival. Yeah, it's like, and you see a breakdown of like the British population in the campsites yeah. all going Fair cage enough. fighting. <laughs> anyway. All right, I'm going to ask you like a typical uh, band interview question. Yes, so you have to... Oh, no, no. no, not on... Oh, OK, if you were a cake... <laughs> What cake would you be? If you were, if you were any the bands cake. or just no, if I could be a cake, if you could be a cake, should I tell you what I would be? Yeah. I would be a black forest gatto. It's pretty standard. It's because it's classic, but it's a little bit dark. Yeah. You've had time to think about. It. Yeah, sorry. I'd, I'd be a, a cheesecake because it's my favourite cake, and uh, you can cook it in a number of ways, and I'm quite. Yeah, different flavours. Variety. Variety, I like it. So you're going to be a cheesecake too? Uh, would you say a souffle is a type of cake? Yeah, if you want it to be. Because I'm full of hot air. You don't look very happy, my friend. <laughs> it's delicious too. Souffle. I like toffee souffle. Does that count? Yeah, that's a souffle. <laughs> Our bass player likes to make souffles. Where is your bass player? <laughs> Probably eating and drinking. Fair enough. Um, okay, and okay, musical influences. Why, why, why are you, why are you guys a band? Like, why are you doing, why are you doing this whole festival scene and putting music together? What started it all? Uh, I don't know, because you just like music. And I think that you sort of work out how it's made, and then you make it yourself. I think that's a damn good reason. You get to meet lots of really nice people. It doesn't. You it, get to meet a lot, lot of horrible people as well. Though. Do you? Is it? Is it actually, really that? Is it that cliched as an industry? Actually, I don't. I, I take that back. I haven't really met anyone horrible yet. But then again, I think everyone's nice to you when you're like a sort of up and coming. Yeah. It's not like you've released a bad second album yet. And, it might change. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you very much, guys, for sitting and chilling out with me for a bit. You've brought the sun with you. Let's hope it stays. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>